Hi, and thanks for watching this uh, Finance with Excel training video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a macro in, uh, in a Mac. Um, first off, we need to notice that up here in the, in the ribbon, we don't have the Developer tab, which we need in order to record macros. Now, to get the Developer tab, we just simply go up here at the top left corner, we click on Excel, and we go to Preferences. And then it brings up our Preferences window. And so now we just click on Ribbon. And it says, well, what do you want to be showing in your ribbon? And we just have to go make sure that we click Developer. And then now we have our Developer tab. So now with our Developer tab, we can create macros. So let's say we want to record a macro that will refresh all of this data for us. So I'm just going to simply click Record. And, and then we're going to call this macro Refresh. We're going to save it in this workbook and we're just going to click OK. So now it's going to be saving, it's saving all of our keystrokes and, and clicks. And so I'm just going to go over here to the Data tab. I'm going to click on Refresh and then I'm going to click Refresh All. And then now we, uh, if we come down here, we see it's connecting to the web. It's going to think for a little bit. And then it's going to update our, uh, our data. We see it just updated everything for us. So now let's go back to our Developer tab and hit the Record button again. And so it's no longer recording. So now we want to assign this macro that we just created to a button. So we're going to click on this button and then draw a button right here. And it says, well, what do we want to assign to this button? We're going to assign our refresh macro. Click OK. <clears throat> and now we can rename our button Re Refresh Data. And that's all there is to it. If we want to uh, open up our VBA code, like we would need to open up our VBA code for, um, like to put in a special function, we just come to the Developer tab and click on Editor. And the VBA tab is um, very, very similar. Um, like if we need to insert a module, we go Insert Module, and then we can start pasting. That's where this is where we would paste our uh, VBA code to our, for example, for our Remove Special. So let's go ahead and do this. I, I went to to the internet to Safari and I just copied this uh, this function that we use, the remove special function that we re, that we used um, in our uh, in in our previous thing, and I'm just going to paste. Uh, the value here. Now we, you know, we would have to add the a circumflex in here or, or, or whatever, and we want to make sure we change this um, to to give us uh, nothing. And we want to get rid of blanks, and um, and so now we have our remove special. So if we come back to our data, we go equals. So let's say we have something that equals like hi or Joe da da smile. Okay, nothing exciting. And then we're going to use our equals remove. Notice it show, uh, uh, if I could spell, SP, yep, we remove special, and we want to remove special from here. It's going to get rid of those, and we have our function that works. So that's how you um, insert uh, a special function and do your VBA code um, for, and do macros in a, uh, in a Mac. So I hope this was useful for you. Thanks.